Hi, I'm the Iron Tailor, and I'm getting ready for a tea dueling event tomorrow. So I thought that I would just run through some of the projects we've done in the past that uh, fit in with the theme. And who knows, maybe you'll want to do some yourself. Most of these projects, well, all of these projects have a detailed written description of how to make them with detailed photos. And a couple of them, including the tea cup holster, now have videos to go along with them. So hopefully something will strike your interest and you'll go to my blog, theirontailor.blogspot.com and look for some of these projects. So here are the things, some of the things that I've made that I like to uh, wear when we're doing a tea-related project like this. Um, one of the favorite things to do is just to get a group together at a local tea shop and have tea. And it's just wonderful to be able to bring my persona of Professor Darjeeling of the Tea Institute in and I've got tons of useless trivia and wonderful facts that I can pass along to people. So I start with my tea bandolier here on the bottom and uh, this is just a set of canvas belts that I put two together and then I've sewn some elastic, uh, this is a one inch black elastic, across it to take these tins. Uh, these are about the size of an Altoids tin. I actually pick them up at the Dollar Tree and they come with a jigsaw puzzle in them and a beautiful painted cover that I burn off with my torch. And you can either burn it off with a torch or just drop it onto your barbecue after you've cooked your meal and there's plenty of heat there. It will burn off the paint and you can uh, then take off the residual with just a very tiny bit of steel wool. It takes less than 15 seconds per tin and you get this beautiful antique defect. Then I've printed out some labels, so I have my Raj Select Darjeeling, my Oriental Sun Gunpowder, Eastern Flower, Awesome, and uh, a little more Darjeeling from Golden Lotus with the appropriate graphics with them. I've got a couple little charms on there just to bring up the uh, tea concept. And then hanging from it, I have a little tea infuser, I have a teaspoon, and a set of sugar tongs. And then I will frequently put my Thermonetic teaspoon in. Now this is kind of a fun little toy. This is just an old teaspoon that I've added steampunk stuff to. So I've got the copper wire around it. I've got a little fan blade here. It actually spins. And this is the idea that you're putting this in. It's rapidly cooling the tea. Cooling the tea means that your little biscuits are going to survive longer. And so I explained that since I'm with the Tea Institute, this is uh, an example of something that a dishonorable cheat would use. Not that I'm one, of course, but we've confiscated it. So it's a fun piece. Slides right into the gaps I've left in the uh, elastic, so I can put little pieces in between the big pieces. So that's kind of a nice one. Uh, I did a little video on this. This is a pocket within a pocket. So this slides into my vest, allows me to take my teaspoons out or my um, sugar tongs out, and they just sit there sticking out of my pocket, always in shape, always in, uh, ready to go. It's kind of a nice piece. You are allowed to add tipple to your <laughs> uh, tea if you are so inclined, so it's always nice to have a little uh, hip flask that you can claim you've got whatever you'd like to put in it. I always have one of those around. Here is my teacup holster. Uh, I made this out of leather. Again, there's a video available on it. And this hangs from my belt. I unsnap it. Safety strap comes off. Out comes the teacup. And out comes the saucer. And then I'm ready to duel. Kind of a nice thing. Carries it very securely uh, with the extra layer of leather in there. You don't have the teacup banging against the uh, saucer the whole day, which is a little better for both of them. And uh, just indicates that you are ready to duel. Another piece I did a while back is the strangest teapot in the world. This is a tea dueling teapot. As you can see, it has two spouts. They will pour two cups of tea at the same time to keep everything scrupulously fair. Hey, this was a project I did in a ceramics class, and uh, I'm sure the instructor, as well as most of the class, thought I was insane, but they all kind of in, got into it and thought it was a lot of fun. 
This is a little intimidation piece. This is a uh, commercially available little tin with mystifying mints in it. It's intentionally supposed to look like a Ouija board. Inside I put a little black velvet and then I have uh, formed my own skull-shaped sugar cubes. Now these are massive. These are the equivalent of about four sugar cubes each. But one of the theories I have on tea dueling is that you are dunking the cookie into the tea and then holding up and wait for it, waiting for it to fall apart. What's giving the tea its crispness and its strength is starch. So if you saturate the tea with all the sugar in the world, it should leach less starch out of the cookie. Your cookie should last longer. It's an interesting theory. I've done it a couple of times. I don't know whether it works or not, but it's a wonderful theory. It's also a great intimidation thing. So I can open this up, offer this to my opponent. I have my little sugar tongs to be able to pick them out. It's very elegant and it's kind of a wonderful thing. First opponent I did that to, uh, I almost won right then and there just on intimidation factor. I also have this lovely little set of metals. These are made using the uh, same military metal pattern uh, that I have on the website, except instead of ribbon on the top, I've just used upside down tea bags. It gives you the same shape. It's very interesting to add a little more color and interest. I've got oolong, darjeeling, and awesome written across the top. The reason they sit so nicely together is they're on a single stiffening bar with uh, a pair of Kitek backs, so when you pin them on, they're always going to be lined up beautifully and sit there nice and straight. On the bottom, just tied with the strings that originally came with the tea bags, I have some little uh, charms I pulled off of um, just some, they were necklaces and odd things that they put out when um, Alice in Wonderland was in the theaters. I bought them, of course, once it was out of the theaters, everything was on clearance. I bought them, threw them into my um, trove of interesting things, and then pulled them out when I needed to make a little tea project like this. So that's what I'm planning on putting together tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll get some pictures of that, and I'll post it on the blog. So I hope that you have a wonderful day doing whatever you are. I'm going tea dueling. <laughs>